Jessica Jones. Talk about an obscure character that most people have never heard of until Netflix announced that she was getting a TV show, that is. Let me fill you in. Jessica Campbell went to high school with Peter Parker, and even had a huge crush on him. Right before she could ask him out, though, he was bitten by a radioactive spider and became Spider-Man. About a week later, Jessica fell into a coma after getting into a car wreck on her way to Disney World and was doused with an experimental government substance. When she woke up, Jessica discovered that she was an orphan, but she lucked out and got adopted by the Jones family. It's around this time that she discovered that the car crash gave her the powers of flight, super strength, and super durability, so Jessica decided to use her newfound abilities for good and became the hero Jewel. But this career was short-lived because of a tragic incident. It's impossible to talk about Jessica Jones without discussing Zebediah Kilgrave, the Purple Man. This section is going to be very messed up and unsettling, so you've been warned. During Jessica's career as Jewel, she encountered the Purple Man, whose abilities make people do whatever he says against their will. He uses this power to rape multiple women, but contrary to popular belief, he never sexually assaulted Jessica Jones. He did, however, force her to watch him have sex with multiple women, and on multiple occasions, beg him to have sex with her until she cried. She bathed him. She slept on the floor. Jessica was Kilgrave's slave for eight months. Then one day, he tells Jessica to go kill Daredevil but she ends up fighting the Avengers instead. They beat her into a coma, but Jean Grey from the X-Men was able to break Jessica from Purple Man's mind control during it. This is why Jessica Jones stopped being a superhero, but of course, because comics, Jones later revealed that she tried again as the hero Nitrous for about a week. When that didn't work out, Jessica decided to become a private detective. As the sole employee of Alias Investigations, Jessica had some interesting adventures, such as accidentally videotaping Steve Rogers changing into his Captain America uniform and finding a runaway teenager. Around this time, Jessica's friend Carol Danvers, aka Miss Marvel, sets her up with Scott Lang, the second Ant-Man. This ends her single life where she slept around quite a bit, with one notable partner being Luke Cage. We'll get back to that. When Purple Man escapes from a S.H.I.E.L.D. prison, he comes after Jessica, but thanks to a psychic defense that Jean Grey put inside of her brain during her coma, Jessica was able to fight back and help put Kilgrave back behind bars. Immediately after the fight, Jessica reveals that she was pregnant with Luke Cage's baby after their one night stand, so she and Ant-Man break up, and Jessica gets together with Luke Cage. Right after that, J. Jonah Jameson hires Jessica to write a superhero column for the Daily Bugle called The Pulse, during which time she has the baby and gets married to Luke Cage almost immediately after the birth, because they didn't want their child to be an illegitimate interracial superhero baby. That would just get way too much negativity from the bigots. Honestly, that's really it for Jessica's history. She pops up every now and then, but she's mostly become a background character, and is more or less just a supporting role for Luke Cage. Wherever Cage's adventures take him, Jessica follows along with the baby. From time to time, Jessica will don the jewel costume and kick some ass, but she still doesn't like being a hero. If the Netflix show takes off, I wouldn't be surprised if she got her own comic again. I mean, I would read it. If you want to read about Jessica's adventures for yourself, you definitely have to read Alias. I absolutely loved it. Oh, and its pseudo-sequel, The Pulse, is decent, I guess, but... Whatever. But hey, what character do you want me to cover next? Luke Cage or Purple Man? Click or comment to cast your vote. Also, if you want to see a video on Jessica's ex-boyfriend, Scott Lang the Ant-Man, click on this video right here.